Hello everybody, my name is Boogie the BBRCast. The BBRCast is of course the channel name, not my surname. Today I'm going to show you a mouse, but not just any mouse, but the mouse. Uh, the mouse been designed by Bloody, it's version 7, which is called uh, Headshot V7 Auto Recall Suppression Headshot 100%, which is guaranteed. Uh, the company, it's this is powered by A4 Tech, a worldwide known uh, company uh, so uh, I think let's start it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls this is the headshot v7 by bloody uh, as you can see my version has activated you ultra core 3 which I will speak about in in a moment so please be patient well as you can see as you can also see the box is very fancy and well designed with really cool picture of the mouse in front of it uh, which you can think yeah that's that's the mouse I want to get uh, on both sides we have some additional details uh, I can see some basic information in some European languages and on the other side we have some uh, technical features about the mouse uh, it can last for button lifetime 10 million clicks that's uh, that's long seems to be uh, on the back what we have on the back on the back we can see the most important features which are given uh, with that mouse uh, let me let me quickly look so we have three cores uh, which I will explain about them in a moment as I mentioned previously which core can be changed or a mode can be changed with a buttons on the mouse and the fancy calls will change uh, we have also information here about uh, double click multifunction uh, zero delay shot win first which is a very important feature to to the producer because uh, they are mentioning that a uh, click response shorts to one millisecond where other uh, mouses delays up to 18 milliseconds so uh, well obviously you're 18 times faster than uh, the enemy and also it mentions about innovate holeless HD uh, engine so the laser the optic for the mouse doesn't have a hole so the dirts don't go inside uh, and and if we talk about going inside <laughs> let's let's open the box and and see what we are getting here in the box we are fighting of course the mouse which is the most important obviously <laughs> uh, we have uh, a mini CD with uh, drivers however I always recommend to to get them from the from the website because they are always the online one they are always uh, most up to date uh, we have fancy stickers two stickers with bloody high five you can stick it to your laptop or your base unit or, or whatever you want that looks quite quite cool and which is a bit unusual uh, the very last thing is a cloth which is like a, when you clean glasses glasses cloth it's kind of similar to keep your uh, mouse tidy clean and tidy uh, okay let's uh, let's focus on on the mouse itself okay, let's put it down uh, so let's focus on the mouse itself it's uh, as you can see it's really well designed it's not some cheap rubbish uh, from God knows where uh, piece of equipment it's 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 made of well well it's made of good plastics uh, it doesn't when you look at it it doesn't you don't think that oh god what the heck is it it, it is the mouse it's really re really cool mouse with good design and it's also very light as it doesn't have uh, batteries like the wireless because you can see this one is non wireless so uh, doesn't have batteries so it's much lighter than the uh, the orders um, okay let's uh, let's look around the top of the mouse is made of really soft type of plastic you could say this is a rubber which is which is it which isn't uh, the wire as you can see wires got like a cool thing to hold the cable so cable is approximately 180 centimeters long but because of this or oh, just just like this uh, this finny doesn't uh, get messy around the desk or, or under the desk uh, with cool USB plug and the logo of bloody again 
red one must be always red uh, the cable itself as you can see it's covered in material and not a rubber what is it is it good or bad of course it's good because the material is stronger than just a rubber so if you uh, if you will step on it or uh, put your chair on it, it will not so easily uh, be damaged or broken or cut, which is also possible with rubber cables, or it is more likely with rubber, rubber cables. Um, okay, let's go back to, to, to the mouse. Uh, so what uh, what we have I've mentioned already it's really really soft oh yeah that you see that red finny this is um, a thing that it doesn't let you break your cable so it's an additional thing to to make sure the mouse will last for long and not just like uh, three or four months like some products do uh, and now let's let me maybe talk about the mouse itself from the top, the mouse is covered with really cool plastic. When you touch it, you think, oh my god, it's soft. But no, it, it isn't soft. It's just the way how it's how it's how it was done. Uh, you may you may think that way. Uh, you, we can also see two buttons, sorry, three buttons. Uh, one button number one, button name N, N for November, and button number Three. Uh, these three buttons are responsible to change modes uh, on the mouse, which is also really cool stuff. On both sides, we have enough space to to hold our fingers there. So if we use it for many hours, it doesn't get problematic. And uh, the plastic in these special places are. The plastic is, uh, as you can see, not glossy with some extra, um, like rose, we could say, or something like that, just to uh, keep it um, more comfortable. The mouse also has a roller, which is, I think, one of my favorite rollers ever seen, because it looks like a tire, a speed bike roller, a <laughs> speed bike tire, uh, which is uh, also a, a cool stuff, because it doesn't slip when you when your fingers getting sweaty with uh, with hours of playing games. Uh, I think that's a really, uh, really interesting, uh, really interesting thing to 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 have uh, as uh, you can see at the bottom of the mouse we can see of course the standard details and that famous optics with without the hole so no rubbish no dust no nothing will get inside uh, which is also again uh, an important an important feature okay so this is the second part of my review uh, it's important part because the software that you're getting with the mouse is also as important as the mouse itself. Uh, as you can see on the front of you, uh, the mouse has got three cores, we could call it three modes. And the first one, which is the default one, is just a simple click click, uh, triple click uh, mode for role playing and a real time strategy game. So it's just like any other mouse, well, left click, right click, middle click, scroll and that's it. Of course we have uh, hundreds of options to, to set up our buttons, so each button uh, could, do, could do something different. Uh, and it's absolutely your decision what do you want to do. For example, we could <laughs> we could assign a button from the keyboard into into a mouse. I'm wondering how many <laughs> imagine to write a story using a mouse. <laughs> that would be crazy. Okay, never mind. So we we can change sensitivity, and as you can see here, take a look. We have up to five. Um, up to five, uh, how to say, it, segments that we can save uh, for our own use. Uh, hmm. Well, you can see we can change DPI, mouse support rate, and and think things like that. Uh, let me let me show you. Oh yeah, that's the that's the uh, thing. Everything we change in the mouse is changed inside of the mouse. So the software uh, is like, you don't must have software live on the screen to let the mouse 
be functional. So let me click here and it's got 160k of memory so whatever we set up here it will be stored on the mouse itself not on the application. So I saved the, the details and now now, now I will show you a, a, a fancy fancy stuff. When we are in a game or whatever we can click that particular button, the, the button number one, let me just show you, oh yeah, this one which is highlighted now, if we double click it, as you can see on the right side, uh, the CPI will, will pop on the screen and with a scroll, take a look, we can simply change the um, the speed of the mouse, 3200 is really crazy I I don't know I cannot work with that uh, 1000 will do and again that will click and will hide that particular menu that's really cool because we don't have to be bothered with any uh, I don't know minimalizing a screen window screen and changing the settings and things like that just double click scroll double click ta -da! so as you see that's really cool uh, let me jump to um, you can read on the top a bit more details here. Let me jump to core number two. The the main difference between core one and core two is that the second one is designed for FPS games, so all kind of Counter Strike, uh, I don't know, Battlefield, Call of Duty, and things like that. Um, as you can see, mode one. Let me, let me just maybe I will click and go in on the. Over here now you see and you could hear that the mouse was unplugged and now it will be plugged again because the each each core for the PC is like separate device and now you can see that mode number one the let me show you oh, come on well this one this thing if we used if you use this that will be one single shot so if with just one click one shot simple right then we change to we are going to mode two and one click give us two shots just like double click and then mode three is three shots simple right uh, and and again we can we can change the 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 meaning of the buttons what do they do sensitivity with the same with the same uh, scrolling to change the resolution uh, resolution the, um, the speed of the of the mouse uh, and here we have explained in few more details the the simple shot so uh, the, the pictures of each mode explains I think the very the very best so one is uh, like single shot is whatever the gun does in the game originally this is what's gonna happen with that mode so if we have a machine gun we will see something like like this in this picture uh, and then mode 2 will have two shots it's like more like a, a, a rifle or something like that and three shots will give us three shots as you can see the top picture is showing this as uh, like a spread at uh, bullets and here is like a proper headshot nearly the same the same spot uh, and now we will go to core 3 as you can see it says ultra core 3 activated not all mouses got this feature activated it you can if you if you have a mouse without activated core 3 you can buy it buy it off the website it's like DLC to your game you buy a game and then you buy a DLC to that game it's something like that here you buy a mouse and to reduce the price of the mouse so it doesn't cost a hundred uh, bucks uh, for for the start you pay it less for the mouse and then additional features you can just buy from the producers websites uh, so from the bloody website you can get I think it costs at this very moment uh, 20 bucks and it may it may change in the future so let's just go to to that core three just give it give it a second and again you can hear the sound of unplugging device and plugging again I don't do anything it's just it's just done automatically so now on the top of the screen we can see a bit a few more a few more options uh, and again let's go to the standard changing the buttons sensitivity is exactly the same as previously and now ultra gun 3 
and here we have a uh, slightly different uh, features so left left click single shot is let's say the same then uh, middle mode the end mode is uh, you know what to show you these in easy way I will just launch my dead space free in a moment and I'll maybe just show it show it that way because if you, if you will see how does it work in a game then you will you will you will understand this more uh, let me jump maybe oh sorry uh, over here God is just uh, just a guard right so if you would have a wireless mouse we would have here information about batteries and, and things like that nothing very important nothing very unique but still good it's 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 here um, maybe we'll speak about headshots each game's got different weapons so we can have for example a game in I don't know counter-strike or whatever uh, and have let's say AK-47 which is beautiful Russian machine gun and we can change the um, how to say it so you can understand it easily <laughs> we can change how the well we can change the suppression of the gun so when we press the button the mouse button within a game the machine gun start to shake the bullets don't go in the same direction and not every single bullet will hit the target right and over here we can s we got a selection of guns which are already set up in this in this game and we can you can see here for example 100 milliseconds y minus 2 which is how the game how these drivers will reduce the shaking of the gun within the game I know it sounds complicated but when you actually start to play the game you click the button and say oh my god yes I love this I really do the very last uh, thing oh maybe no well I will we'll go to to here uh, to to show you can you can to show you how how details you can change how many details you can change is that every single gun you use you can test and simply adjust the the, the filter for shaking the gun is is absolutely incredible I know some people may say this is cheating but well tough right anyone can buy the mouse and and play the same the same way okay let's go let's go back and now the uh, Oscar macro if you know the programming language the language is very simple so if something then something right or loop this this and that so it's not nothing very complicated especially with the uh, with the things uh, like here that you can that helps you to uh, to program you could program the mouse um, as well so I think that's everything about the about the mouse and software now let me just show you a few things uh, within the game I will focus only on the ultra gun free because the other two modes are pretty much simple but the ultra free is really really cool okay let's go to dead space free so here we are in a game as I said previously the easiest way to explain you how the modes and course are working is to show in a game that's nice shooting this is this is just the mode one the basic one which is uh, like default one let's say uh, just single shot with a, with a machine gun doesn't really make any difference now let me change to mode and the second one and look at this as you can see and here way faster than the previous one it's much much more faster than uh, than the previous uh, mode and every single sh bullet is bullet uh, let's say it's a bullet it's just uh, a headshot in one one point one direction <laughs> and now let's do the the third mode which is my favorite take a look the whole idea about the third mode is that as long as you hold the button down 
it will not stop shooting so it will reload and shoot reload and shoot and and just take a look this is quick and effective way how to kill your enemies from me that's everything and i'm thank you very much for watching my my video i hope you've enjoyed if you have any questions just uh, put them into the comments forgive me my english i'm not native speaker so uh hopefully you will enjoy it and buy because the the mouse is really really good have a good day goodbye my name is boogie i'm from bbrcast